everyone, I'm GM with Evans of Music and I'm here today in Oslo at Rockefeller Music Hall with uh, Robbie Shakespeare. Nice to meet you, man. Yes. Good to have you here. It's good to be here, but it's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. I, I can imagine from yeah. from Jamaica to Norway, there's yeah. kind of a, a bit a difference there, huh? Yeah, big, big difference. But, but how, uh, talking about Jamaica and Norway, how did you and Nils Petter Molvar, how did this whole co cooperation, how did it? Well, it came by, by Mark. Uh -huh. Mark Vandenberg, yeah. you see him, you, you met him? Yes, yes. He and uh, Guillaume Bugard. Okay. They came together with this idea and said, ask us, and we said, let's try it, you know? Uh -huh. So, and it worked, it worked out good. Yeah, I've, I've, out good, you, yeah. you were touring this summer and you, you mm. made an album even uh, yes. earlier? Yeah, we tour even, we did tour before this, before mm -hmm. the album and yeah, yeah. people kept kept asking for the album, so they wanted this album and we had to go in the studio and make, make an album, you know? Yeah, and awesome. And, and I, I heard, I, I, yeah, I really appreciate you taking the time today because I understood that you have a very tight schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday yeah, yeah. you came from Germany, was it? <laughs> yeah. And, and now you're in Norway and tomorrow it's... Uh, somewhere. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So, uh, most of our viewers obviously know who you are, mm -hmm. a, a, a bass legend, but to those that don't know, can you tell who is Robbie Shakespeare? Uh, I'm Robbie Shakespeare, better half of Sly John Barr. So you have Sly and Robbie, I am the Robbie, you know? Yeah. And um, I don't even like talking about myself. I just, I don't like talking about music either. I just like playing music. You like playing. Huh? Yeah, you know? And I don't know what else to say. You just have to stick around and watch me. Yeah, and I was talking about that because I've noticed the, the, the passion for music. And when you have been touring for years and decades even, yeah. how, do you, how do you not get tired or bored? How do you manage to keep the passion for music alive? Well, I don't get bored when I'm on stage because every night I play the way I feel. So tonight the bass line you hear I might start it one way, but I'll end up playing something different. So it's yeah, so every night it's different, you know. Awesome. We we all play different, so you know. So it's a new so experience every time. Right, right. Awesome. And for Shuda now, I like Shuda because I keep creating new stuff, so I keep the brain pumping. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's impressive. With, yeah. For so, so many years to keep the, so the fire get, burning. Yeah, never get bored of music. So, uh, also, having been a, an active musician for so long, I'm sure you've tried all kinds of different gear through the years. And, and not so far ago, you started using Ashdown amplifiers. Right, right. How, how did that happen? Well, Zach Starkey, that's the son of Ringo Starr uh -huh. in Jamaica, we're doing a blues album okay. and um, started using it there. Uh -huh. So good. <laughs> And that, that's where you... Uh... Yeah, that's where I encountered first. Okay, so you met Mark or...? Uh... Uh, yeah, I met Mark there. Too. Good day? Yeah. Ah, yeah. okay. And then, now it's Ashdown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, I think that's about it. I, I have uh, one last question for you, Mr. Shakespeare. Yes, sir. And that is, to base or not to base? To base or not to base? To base or not to base? Can you imagine not having the bass in your face? <laughs> exactly. You know, that's the question. <laughs> so I'm GM with Emerson Music. Thank you for watching.